Hey, Speed Demons, and what is this presenter's view that I'm in right now? But more importantly, how do you use it to help get you to happy hour? And if you've never been in the presenter's view before, I will talk about some of the options you have available to you. But what I really want to focus on in this video are the keyboard shortcuts for using it because that's how you're going to crumple up your everyday boring tasks, explode productivity, and get you to happy hour. And you really have three views to be aware of. First off, you have the normal view, which is just the slides on the left. You have your ribbon up top and the normal workspace. The second view you have is the slideshow view, which actually has two, and I'll put a box around it to designate shortcuts, has two very specific keyboard shortcuts, one of which is my favorite, and I'll show you both. The third view is this presenter view, which was introduced in PowerPoint 2010, made a lot better in 13 and 2016. It also has two keyboard shortcuts, and I'm gonna, again, of course, show both of them to you. So how do you pop in and out of these views with your keyboard shortcuts to present, practice, and what I'm really gonna push you on here is to spot check your work. You don't wanna build all of your slides, and at the very end, go back and try to find all of the errors that you could have caught if you'd been using these shortcuts as you went. I'm also gonna give you a little bonus tip at the end, a little hybrid shortcut if you stick with me for flipping in between those two views that not a lot of people know about. So there's two different views and there's two different sets of shortcuts for each view. And I wanna start with the slideshow shortcuts first because those will make learning the presenter view shortcuts that much easier. And your slideshow shortcuts are F5, and a shift F5. And just a quick heads up before I demo this in PowerPoint, using the shift key is one of the fastest ways to double up on your keyboard shortcuts. Notice the F5 is the same. You add the shift key, boom, you double the number of shortcuts you know. So let me flip over to PowerPoint and show you how this works. So here in another PowerPoint deck, I have a deck with the page numbers that I've made completely obnoxious to prove a point to you. So your first shortcut is F5. If you hit F5 on your keyboard, watch the number. Notice I run my presentation in slideshow view. This is not 16 by nine. And I always start here on slide number one. So this lets you start from the beginning and progress through your slides. So even if I come down to slide number 12, I hit escape to come back to the normal view. I hit F5 again, boom. I'm gonna go right back to slide number one. So it always starts you from the beginning. Now, when you throw in the shift key, this is where you can start to spot check the slide you're working on. Let's say that I'm moving this around. I wanted to move it down a little bit. I'm changing my bullet points from check marks to boxes. I'm, you know, maybe I'm changing the color of this. After you've made these edits, you want to hit Shift F5. I use this all the time to spot check what you've done. So you want to look at what you've done and you say, oops, notice over here, I didn't want to cover up the 3.2. So I hit Escape. I come in, I massage this around, I move it, Shift F5 again. Boom. You're spot checking this as you go instead of building all the way through your deck and then trying to come back and find these things later on. Even right here, again, I might want to move this up or down a little bit further to adjust it so I'm not over the numbers. Hit Shift F5, boom. If you want to go back to the beginning, hit Escape, hit F5, and you'll start right back at the beginning of your presentation so you can practice it from the beginning. So your slideshow shortcuts are F5 to start from the beginning and Shift plus F5 to start from the current slide. You can jot those down if you need to. Now the presenter view shortcuts build off of these. So presenter view shortcuts are Alt, plus F5 to start from the beginning in presenter view and alt plus shift plus F5 to start from the current slide in presenter view. And I'll show you how to flip back and forth between those views at the end of this little video. Now here's a picture of the presenter view so that I can ink all over this. First off, you have three different views you're working with. You have view number one. This is what your audience sees and this is all that your audience sees, all right? Your audience will not see any of this other jazz that you have on your slide. This is your presenter view. You're the presenter, you get to see this. So first off, you have what your audience sees so you can see what they're looking at. Next up, you have what your next slide is so that you're not caught unaware during your presentation. And the third thing you have is, are whatever main points or notes that you've added to your presentation. You can see that I'm using that right now. So you have three different views. All of your pies shortcuts for inking on your slides work here. You can see my other video for how to do that. Navigation wise, you can either click if you want to or just use your normal navigation, space bar, arrow keys, whatever. Those all work. You have this notes pane, I already covered that. And you have the time up here so that you know if you're running over your allotted time. Now flipping back to my other PowerPoint deck to launch presenter view, I'll just hit Alt F5 to start from the beginning. Again, here you can see exactly what I was just showing you. A couple of things to pay attention to. You have your display settings up top, so this is how you'll flip between whether the presenter view is on your laptop, which is where you want it, or on the projector. You have a bunch of additional options. You have your inking options. You can also use the presenter's life raft shortcut, which I'll put a video up here if you wanna check that out. And you can also increase and decrease the size of your notes here if um, you can't see them very well. So those are the main areas of your presenter view. And again, if I just come to a slide and I hit Alt Shift plus F5, notice that I start right here. I'll hold the control key down and use my laser pointer. I start on 
slide number five. Instead of if I just hit Alt F5, I'm going to start presenter view, all right, just from slide number one. So make sure you make that distinction. Now, before I get to the hybrid shortcut, your slideshow shortcuts are F5 and Shift F5. This is by far my all-time favorite. I use this constantly when building and editing slides. And then it gets to your presenter view. All you need to do is throw in that Alt key and have an extra monitor so that you get you know, both screens, your slideshow to your audience and the presenter view on your laptop. And before I show you the hybrid shortcut, if you've already learned something new, please give me a thumbs up here on YouTube. That's really the only way I know what kind of stuff you're interested in. Now the hybrid shortcut to flip back and forth between the two views, which there's not a dedicated real shortcut, is right click on your mouse, that's the hybrid part, and then hit R on your keyboard. So hybrid, mouse and keyboard action. So if I just right click, you're gonna see a bunch of options. Hit R on my keyboard, will take me to the presenter view of that slide. I can ink all over this just like I normally could. If I right click, hit R, I will jump to the slideshow view. So this is faster, just right click an R, right click an R, then escaping out and then trying to hit the keyboard shortcut to go back to the other view. If that's what you wanna do, hit E and I will erase all my ink. If you want to learn more about hybrid shortcuts and see some other PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets and my Save 40 Hours in PowerPoint mini series, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I will see you at happy hour.